Hey, it's Squidly. Last time I did an unpopular opinions in backpacking video, I got a lot of feedback with some additional unpopular opinions. And so that's what I wanted to present to you today. All right, quick disclaimer. These are not my opinions. These are things that were presented to me either on the YouTube video or on social media. And so I just wanted to present these but they're, they're not my opinions. I think some of these are serious, but I think some of them, they had to have been joking. Let, let's all take a moment of silence and hope that they were joking. So there are 10, let's get started. Number one, they said that most ultralight gear is flimsy trash. Cannot say that I agree with that one. Um, but I will say that if you have very little experience with ultralight gear, you might regard it as flimsy trash because let's be honest, a lot of the materials are thin to keep it lightweight. A lot of the additional bells and whistles are just not there. And so it may, on initial inspection, without a close inspection and experience with it, come off that way. Um, I don't know. I, I just think that that one is probably based on not having a very good understanding of ultralight gear or having a limited experience with it. Number two, trekking poles are more trouble than they're worth. That one actually might be true for some people. So I would give that one, you know, I, I would regard that one as having some validity to it as kind of being an unpopular opinion. I'm sure there are people who really do believe that, that they would rather hike without trekking poles or a hiking stick or anything like that. They would just rather walk. For us older folks, as we're getting older and our joints give us a little bit more trouble, having the trekking poles is definitely worth it. But that may not be so for everyone. Number three, this person said running shoes have no place on a hiking trail. Now, with this one, it depends on what they meant. If they meant just regular running shoes that you would use uh, going for a run, on streets in town through your neighborhood and that kind of thing, they're probably right. I, I would tend to agree with that because the traction on them is not gonna be great. I wonder though if what they really meant was trail runners and in that case, I, I seriously disagree with it because trail runners have a tread that is, is legitimate. I've been using trail runners for years now. I have not used leather hiking boots since Oh, four, I think. So it's, it's been a very long time. Uh, and I, I just wonder if that's what they meant is that, that trail runners don't belong and we should be using hiking boots. And that would be a very unpopular opinion. If what they meant was just regular running shoes, then I would say they're probably closer to right on that one. They, 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 they probably don't really belong. Number four, and I think this one's legitimate. Exterior pockets on a pack are useful. If you're using an ultralight pack, chances are it doesn't have much in the way of external pockets and that sort of thing, extra ways to sort of stash gear and stow it away and, and make it convenient to get to through the course of the day. And so the person who said this probably meant that having those external pockets so that you stop through the middle of the day and need something that it's, it, makes, it makes it easier to get to so you can put something in those external pockets that you know you're gonna need through the course of the day and it just makes it easier to, uh, to, to get to through the course of the day without having to go through your whole pack. In that sense, they're, I think, absolutely right. But even ultralight packs have that giant mesh pocket for putting stuff that you will need through the course of the day. So in that respect, I think they're right. It's all the additional pockets and zippers and all the other stuff that just adds extra weight to the pack. Number five, they were very blunt about this one. Internal frame packs suck. I don't know about that. Whether it's a old generation of an external pack or the newer generation of an external pack, or the kind of in-between that has the internal frame, I think all of that depends on the person carrying it. How comfortable is it? 
How does it pack for you? How well does it work? How, do, how well does it carry for that particular person? I think all of that is very personal. And so maybe for that person, internal frame packs are not the thing and they need an external pack for whatever reason, and that's fine. But a blanket statement that they, that they all suck and that there's apparently no redeeming qualities, that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Number six is one that I think might have been kind of tongue-in-cheek. I'm, I'm really not sure, but they said it's okay to wear jeans. All right, let's pick that one apart for just a second. If you're wearing jeans and the weather is cool, so you're not going to be doing a lot of sweating, there is a 0% chance of precipitation, and there's also no chance that you're gonna have a stream crossing and have any potential to get wet, then okay. I might be convinced that wearing jeans would be okay, but they're heavy. And if they do get wet, they are useless. In fact, they're worse than useless. They're gonna cause so much chafing and irritation, and they're gonna get that much heavier that I would just argue against it. I have a hard time coming up with a scenario where they're really okay and a, a good thing where I would say, yes, I'm wearing jeans on this trip. It's not happening. All right, this next one, this is one of, there are two that I hope are tongue in cheek. I hope that they were joking, but they, they said this in a way, I, I'm, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, uh, but they said the only good snake is an unalived snake. No, no, absolutely not. Snakes perform a, a completely valid, important function in the ecosystem. They're a part of the food web. They are important. And furthermore, aside from venomous snakes, which, you know, kind of do scare people, I get that. A lot of snakes are, are good for the fact that they eliminate a lot of excess uh, creatures that also can create additional problems if left unchecked by the snakes. So th this idea that, that snakes are all bad and they have no redeeming qualities is just unfair to the snake and it's, it's simply not true. All right, number eight, this is the other one that's gonna be very controversial and I think the person who said it uh, is either either pretty uninformed or they were doing it be tongue in cheek and trying to be funny, which I get because I sometimes try to be funny unsuccessfully. But what they said was bear spray is a poor substitute for a firearm. Ugh. <laughs> I'm just hoping that's a joke. Seriously hoping that's a joke. Because especially black bears, they're uh, black bears are apparently completely unaware that they have claws and jaws and a person can just stand there, look big and scare them off. Uh, grizzlies, completely different thing. You, you need to have a way of protecting yourself there, but bear spray is a perfectly legitimate way to do it and effective. Anyway, I, I don't, I don't get that one. It's, it just baffles the mind. Number nine, carrying a heavier pack is good exercise. Fact check, true, it is good exercise, but completely unnecessary. You're gonna get exercise anyway. You go out and you put on a pack that, whether it's heavy or light, and you go walking for miles and miles, you're going to get exercise. It's gonna be effective exercise. And at the end of the day, you're going to be tired. You're gonna to wanna to eat and go to bed. So carrying a heavier pack is not necessary. And finally, number 10, the weight of a hammock setup is worth it. Okay, so let's just be honest here. I don't do hammock camping. I'm not against it. I'm not anti-hammock setups. I've just never done it. I've never been around a whole lot of people who have, and so I'm just not very familiar with all the ins and outs of it. But every person I have talked to that does hammock systems swear by the fact that they are worth any extra weight that you carry because it's that much more comfortable for sleeping and it's just a better setup for them. And so even though I don't do it personally, I will grant them 
that, that, that they say it's more comfortable and it's that much better and it's worth a little bit of extra weight, totally agree. That's what you should do. Okay, those were 10 unpopular opinions in backpacking. Some of them I think are legitimate. Some of them I think are tongue in cheek. Get in there in the comment section and hash it out. I can't wait to see the conversation on this. This is going to be great. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around to the end and I'll see you on the next one.